You know, I just saw another one of these uh, the other day. I didn't do it. I probably haven't done one of these in two months. And this is this this is the same situation that we see time and time again, where people get awarded these social Darwin awards. That's what happens. It's not a joke. It's real life. Well, you can joke about anything. You can you can joke about anything. But this is real shit. The fucking dude kicked the bucket. All right. So if you're unaware of what's going on, Richard Rose the third is literally trending on Twitter, Facebook. It was trending online. I mean, it's the you type in Richard Rose. It's the first thing that comes up. I'm sure there's been a lot of those throughout history. And it's this cat from from Ohio who was scoffing at the idea of wearing masks, scoffing at the idea of COVID-19, probably thought it was a flu-like thing, which it's not, obviously. It's way deadlier than the flu. Even even with the death rate going down, it's still two, three times deadlier than the flu. And uh, now he's dead. Now he's dead. Didn't treat it seriously. He was going to pools and things like that. I'll read to you exactly what he said. We'll, we'll freaking go from there. So this was April 28th. He goes... Let make this clear. I think he meant let me make this clear or let's make this clear. I'm not buying a fucking mask. Well, you don't have to buy a mask. Just use a handkerchief. Okay. That's double layered. Okay. You put another one on top of it if you want. Use, uh, fold your shirt in half. That's quadruple layered. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Figure something out. You don't got to go buy a mask, bud. This COVID shit sucks. I'm so out of breath just sitting here. He's literally saying this on July 2nd. It's July 2nd. July 2nd. On June 13th, he had posted a picture at the pool, uh, checked into Put-in Bay, South, ba South Bass Island. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. This is in Ohio. Um, he's messaging someone. He says, K Beaver, it's not that packed. Well, it kind of is packed. Kind of is packed. You don't need to be around more than one person to catch COVID. That should be obvious. And like I said, on July 2nd, he posted, this COVID shit sucks. I'm so out of breath just sitting here. It's a doozy. It's a doozy. He dies two days later. He died two days later. Richard Rose III, obituary. Richard Donald Rose III, July 25th, 1982 to July... Just July 4th, 2020. Really took his independence, huh? Really took his independence on Independence Day. Guys, this shit is no joke. If you smoke, if you're overweight, if you're a certain blood type, if your diet has been horrible your whole life, you are more at risk. You gotta understand, this shit is literally thickening people's blood. That's, that's going to damage all of your organs. People were talking about, oh, there may be some brain damage from it. Oh, maybe? Maybe some brain damage from it when you can't get oxygen? When your blood's thickened up like syrup? Gotta take this shit seriously. You know what? We really didn't even have to shut everything down. Not everything. If people just wore their masks. They just wore their masks. Not even all the time. I think it's kind of silly to wear it when you're in your car by yourself. I think it's silly if you're walking uh, in the, you know, in the open field by yourself or out at the park by yourself or it's just you and your buddy or something. Yeah, I think that's silly. Okay, if you have one or two guests over, yeah, that's silly. You don't, you don't necessarily need to wear your mask. I think you're going a little overboard mm -hmm. there. That's the risk you take any time you're going to engage with people at all. Okay, if you're not going to invite people over, you're just going to be freaking, uh, you know, you're just going to be a hermit the whole time. Okay, just be a hermit the whole time if that's the case. People aren't going to come over to your house and wear masks indoors. It's probably not going to happen. But if you get on the bus, if you get in the lift, if you get in the Uber, get your fucking mask on. If you go in the store, get your mask on. All right, if you're on a crowded beach, I know it sucks. You want to suntan. You want to do all this stuff. You want to breathe the fresh air. But if it's a crowded ass, I'm talking crowded, barely any room to lay out. You should probably have a mask. You should probably have a mask. Everyone should be wearing a mask. If you're in a stadium with people, a pool party. I mean, why would you have a pool party now? I don't fucking know. But wear a damn mask. You know, they, they used to do this. I forget what it's called. I think it's called a masquerade party. Make that something again. 
Make it something like that again. Okay? Have less people anyway. You know, instead of having 20 people have seven or eight. I get it. You're not going to be able to isolate the entire time. I, I get it. At some points in time, there's going to be some small get-togethers. But don't be like this wide receiver, dim bulb Devin White, and having a fucking 2,000-person party. Don't be like folks going everywhere all the time without a mask. All right? It protects you. It protects others. Some people can't not wear, they cannot wear masks, so we got to protect them. It's our patriotic duty to protect as many people as possible. The less people I come in contact with, the less likely I am to infect folks if I have it in, in you know, in an asymptomatic or symptomatic for that matter. And if I have a mask, it reduces it. Okay? So we got to look out for each other. We got to look out for ourselves too. We got to look out for our family and friends. This guy, I cannot imagine. You think, you think his family thinks this shit's fucking funny? You think they're joking about it? I guarantee you they're not even calling it the social Darwin's war. Now I consider that a serious statement. But some people consider that just a comedic thing to say. No, that's a real thing. And people are freaking kicking the bucket and now they're in a pine box. It's not a joke. We gotta take this shit seriously. Listen, I know it's it's a huge cultural difference here. It's a huge cultural difference, and really, it depends on what state you're in as well. But we can normalize this. We can normalize wearing masks in crowded places. It's not that big of a deal. You gotta stop crying. You gotta stop whining. Don't be a jack job. Don't be a jag off. Don't be a momo. Don't pretend like it's some big conspiracy theory. You know, masks help. In a lot of different ways. It's not just for COVID-19. It's for not spreading the flu. It's for not spreading other things. Facial re uh, recognition technology. Things like that. I, I <laughs> kind of enjoy it just for that alone. To be quite to be quite honest with you. I kind of enjoy it just for that alone. Now, guys. I'm going to leave it at that. Don't, you know, don't be hammering. Don't be going to his Facebook page or Twitter. Or, or hammering the guy. Just, just spread the news that. There does seem to be a correlation between the people who are just so flippant about it and folks who get it and die. The poor little 17-year-old girl who died because her mom was a QAnon idiot and believed in hydroxychloroquine and how that's some sort of freaking uh, panacea. It's not. It's not doing anything. If, if anything, it's accelerating the deaths of people. Hydroxychloroquine is killing people. Now, I know the remdesivir or whatever seems like it's doing something, so I, I guess that's something. You need antiretrovirals. That's what you need. You need antiretrovirals and things like that. So, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. You know what's up.